All right, so I've gotten a lot of requests to do a Xbox One collection video. So uh, I did one for 2016, one for 2017. So this one's going to be 2018 Xbox One collection video. So yeah, uh, I'm not sure why these videos are popular, but I'm gonna go ahead and do one for 2018. This is almost April, so we're at the end of March, so it is Good Friday. So let's go ahead and check out all my games that I've been amassing throughout the years since Xbox One has been released. Keep in mind though, I'm not doing my digital collection. I have way too many games on the digital side. So if you see games that are not in here that you think that I should have, you're probably right. I do have the game, but it's in a digital version. So let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna start off with the first row, which is the lowest row. Then we're gonna go to the second, to the third, and to the fourth, and to the fifth row. So uh, how many can guess how much money I spent on video games alone? I've spent quite a few dollars, and this is not just Xbox. I got PlayStation 4 games, I got Nintendo Switch games, I got 3DS games, so yeah. I think I've spent a lot of money on games on current gen. I'm not including previous gen like Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, or Nintendo Wii. I got tons of those games also. One thing I, why I have so many games is I don't trade them to GameStop. One thing I do want to give y'all advice on, never, ever, 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 ever trade your games in to GameStop, to Best Buy, or to whoever is going to give you cash for the games because they're just going to turn around, flip it, and sell it for more money. You're probably better off selling it yourself. So yeah, so let's go ahead and get started with the first row. And uh, I'm just gonna grab a stack of games here. So here I have is Destiny 2 Collector's Edition. Uh, I guess you can say I spent the $200 and got the a booty bag that I didn't like. Um, well, before I even continue, the last Xbox One collection I did, I gave ratings and um, a lot of people weren't happy with my ratings. So uh, you know what? Fuck it, I'm gonna do ratings again, cause I buy the games, I play them, so I know what the game really deserves. So if I give a rating that you don't like, I'm sorry. So, but let's continue. So the first one I have is Destiny's 2 Collector's Edition, and um, yeah, uh, this game kind of like failed to meet expectations, and I'm kind of glad Destiny 1 came out. Destiny 2 just wasn't very happy. So I'm not even going to bother giving this game a rating. We're just going to go ahead and put it to the side. Next game in my stack is Assassin's Creed Origins. This was a good game. I'd give it a good solid 9 or 10. South Park Fractured But Whole. This game is freaking hilarious. So I'm definitely going to give this game a 10. By the way, the ratings that I'm giving this, these games is my opinion only. Not everyone else's opinion. This is my opinion because I played the games. So I know, I pretty much know about the damn game. So I'm going to give it my rating, my personal rating. So like I said again, don't get mad, don't get butt hurt if I gave your game a poor rating. It's just me. It's just my rating and how I felt when I was playing the game. And by the way, every single game that you see here, I've played it all and beat them all. So yeah, that's a lot of hours in gaming. Next game, Call of Duty World War II. I played this at E3. I loved it. But since I'm in the competitive scene... And not that many people like this game. It's not that great, to be honest. Um, I think Call of Duty needs a big need, needs a big boost and a change because every year they keep releasing a game. And yes, I know three different people make the game: Sledgehammer, Treyarch, Activision, whatever you want to call them. Um, I just think they need to make something and stick with one game for competitive, like Counter Strike. Uh, as far as campaign and just like pub matches for like for fun, yeah, go ahead and knock yourself out, make multiple games. But if we're gonna stick to the competitive side, let's stick to one title. My rating, I give it an eight. Next game, Halo Wars 2, I give it a seven. Halo Master Chief Collection, I give it an eight. Halo 5 Guardians Collector's Edition, I give it an eight. Need for Speed Payback, although this game ste stepped aside for about a year or two, 
Uh, this one wasn't bad, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this about an 8.5. Quantum Break, probably one of my favorite games out there right now. I'm gonna go ahead and give it a 10. Sniper Elite 4, uh, this is actually a pretty good game, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this a 9. Sniper Elite 3, same thing, give it a 9. This is actually a fun game. If y'all haven't picked this up, make sure you play 3, 4, and all the other sniper games that are out there. They're pretty dope. For Honor, I'll give this game a 7. Titanfall 2 Deluxe Edition, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game an 8. Metal Gear Survive, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 9. Alright, moving on to the next row of games, we have Rocket League. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 9. This is actually pretty good. Next game, Resident Evil 5. And I know in the beginning of the video I said that I played every single game and beat it. Uh, the ones that I do have sealed and closed, like this one here, um, I have it digitally downloaded, so that's why I don't want to show all my down digital download games because some of these that are sealed, I do have them digital download. And if you see, if you don't see any games that you played or that are popular, I also have those digital downloads. So I have probably at least 200 digital downloaded games. Devil May Cry Definite Edition, it's okay. Uh, I like the 360 version better, but I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a eight. Doom Collector's Edition. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a nine. Deuce X or Day X, uh, Mankind Divided. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a seven. It kind of failed ex to meet my expectations. I like the last Deuce X or Deus X from the 360. That was probably one of my favorite ones. So yeah. Payday 2 Crime Wave Edition. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a nine. This game is fun with playing with multi people, multiple people. Overwatch. Um, to be honest, I only played this game like twice. It's not really fun to me. Although it's very popular out there, especially in the competitive scene, but I'm not going to knock it too bad, so I'm going to go ahead and give it a 7. Need for Speed Rivals, one of the original games that came off for the Xbox One. I'm going to go ahead and give this a 7. Call of Duty Advanced Warfare, I'm going to go ahead and give this game an 8. Far Cry 4, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. Grand Theft Auto 5, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. Sniper 3 Ghost Warrior, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 7. Prey, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 6. Call of Duty Ghost, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 7. Attack on Titan, give this game an 8. Mass Effect Andromeda, go ahead and give this game a 7. Um, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare with the Call of Duty Modern Warfare Remastered. I'll be fair and give this game an 8. Modern Warfare Remastered, it's pretty fun. Infinite Warfare, uh, it was okay. I Honestly, I had more fun with Infinite Warfare in it competitive scene than I am with World War II. Ghost Recon Wildlands, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 9. This is a fun game to play, especially open world. And come on, Tom Clancy games are always fun to play. Rainbow, Ghost Recon, The Division, it's just, they're pretty awesome, they're dope. FIFA 17, I'm gonna give this game a 7. Evolve, if they put more effort into this game, this game would have been dope as fudge, but uh, I'm not gonna lie, I had fun, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this game an 8. Dragon Ball Universe 2, give it a 9. Dragon Ball Universe, give it a 9. Final Fantasy Deluxe Edition, I'm gonna go ahead and give it a... Uh, I don't know, I liked it, and I didn't like it. I'll go ahead and give it an 8. Forza Horizon 2, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 10. This game is pretty fun. Probably one of the best racing racer games out there right now. Final Fantasy Type-0 HD, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a seven. All right, moving on to the next row of games. So I'm gonna grab a few here. Destiny, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a nine. Another copy of Titanfall 2, this is just a regular edition, so I'm gonna stick with the same grade that I gave it before. Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a nine. The original Titanfall, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game an eight. Tom Clancy's The Division, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 10. Recore, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game an eight. Final Fantasy 15, Still stick with the same rating. Assassin's Creed Unity, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game an 8. Assassin's Creed Syndicate, give this game an 8. Assassin's Creed Black Flag, I'm gonna give this game a 10. And the only reason why I love this game so much is because you're a freaking pirate. Who doesn't love pirates? Amazing Spider-Man 2, this game is weak, so I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 5. Seven Days to Die, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a 6. Transformers Devastation, I love the classic style of this game. It's just, it's fun. It's pretty fun. So I'm going to go ahead and give this game an 8. Battlefield 4, giving this game an 8. Battlefield 1, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 7. Battleborn, the game that could have had it all. Um, can't believe this game got stumped on by Overwatch. This was actually a pretty good game. So I'm going to go ahead and give this game an 8. Call of Duty Black Ops 3, 
one of my favorite titles in the competitive scene. It also was a good game, so I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. Dying Light, another of my favorite titles. Giving this game a 10. This game was fun. If you haven't played it, I highly recommend you pick this up. I think this game goes for like 10 bucks now or 8 It's It's been out for a while, and you know, there's a lot of DLC as well. So go ahead and check this game out. Dragon Age Inquisition. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. This game was actually pretty fun, especially when you're playing with other people. Killer Instinct Combo Pack. Um, combo Breaker Pack. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 7. Battlefield Hardline, um, I'm going to give this game a 6. Gears of War Ultimate Edition, I'm going to give this game a 8. Gears of War 4 Ultimate Edition, I'm going to give this game a solid 10. Gears of War 4 was fun. It is still fun. The campaign was great. And it's just an all-around good game. So I'm, I'm sticking with this grade, a 10. So... Go check that game out if you haven't checked it out. All right, next row of games. We're down, almost down to the last row, so let's go ahead and finish up. So let me grab a stack here. Transformers, Rise of the Dark Spark. This might be the only game that I give a one. This game was horrible. Watch Dogs, give it an eight. Watch Dogs 2, eight. WWE 2K17, I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a seven. Mortal Kombat X, very fun fighting game to play. I'm going to go ahead and give this a solid 9. Minecraft. This game actually does not belong to me, but it's part of my collection. It's my son's. But uh, I probably played like two or three games with him. So I can't really rate this game, to be honest, because I don't play Minecraft. Need for Speed. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 6. Disney Infinity. Once again, this is another game that my son plays. Well, he doesn't play it anymore, but uh, I really don't know what to give this one also, but... Yeah. Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls. I go ahead and give this game a 9. Forza 7. Give this game a 10. This, this is actually a fun racing game to play. So make sure you go pick it up. I do recommend this one. You have a lot of tons of cars to play with. Star Wars Battlefront 2. Give this game an 8. Marvel vs. Capcom Infinite. I played this at E3 last year. This game is pretty fun, pretty dope. I liked it. So I'm going to go ahead and give this game an 8. Agents of Mayhem, give it a 7. Rainbow Six Siege Gold Edition, I'm going to go ahead and give it a solid 10. The developers, the creators, the community, it's pretty dope, pretty awesome. And this is actually a fun game. I think Call of Duty should take a page from their book and do something like this. Especially the competitive scene in Rainbow Six has been climbing up the charts. It's almost getting close to CSGO. Assassin's Creed Origins Steelbook Edition. I'm going to stick with the same rating I gave it before. I'm giving it a 10. Shadow of War 2. I'm going to... Oh, my bad. Not 2. Well, yeah, it is 2. Shadow of War Middle Earth. I'm giving this game an 8. Destiny, the collection. Uh, pretty much, I'm going to stick with the same rating. This is... All it includes is all the extra DLC at a cheaper cost. So, I'm going to give this game a 9. Resident Evil, Biohazard. So, I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. Lego Batman 3, Beyond Gotham. Giving it a 7. Batman Arkham Knight. Who doesn't love Batman? Arkham Knight series. I'm going to give this game a 9. Metal Gear Solid Ground Zero is going to give this game a 7. Whoa. Now, where were we? Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Mutants in Manhattan. This game was fun. I loved it. I'm going to go ahead and give this game a 9. Alright, moving on to the last row of games. So let's go ahead and grab a stack and let's continue to Dead Rising 4, I'm definitely going to give this game a 4. I think after Dead Rising 3, they kind of gave up on this game. Dead Rising 3, Day 1 Edition, I'm giving this game a 9. They've actually, when they first announced this of the Xbox One release launch, and they launched it on release date, um, this was pretty fun. This is pretty dope. Dead Rising 4, I feel like they just like put shit together and just gave up and said, whatever, let's just make a quick game and sell it. Darksiders 2, Death in the... Yeah, Death Initiative Edition. I'm going to go ahead and give this game an 8. The Crew, 7. Rise, Son of Rome, 8. Player, Unknown, Battleground. I'm going to go ahead and give this game... I'll go ahead and give it a 7. 7.5. Seven Although I love Battle Royale, bleh, Battle Royale games, there's a lot of work that needs to be done on this game. And... If they make those changes, I think this will be my favorite game instead of Fortnite. Injustice 2, giving this game a solid 9. This is a pretty fun fighting game. 
The Surge, giving it a 4. Tekken 7, giving it a 7. Wolfenstein 2, giving it a solid 9. Monster Hunter World, I'm going to give this game a 10. Dragon Ball Fighter Z, I played this at E3. I'm giving this game straight up a 10. If many of y'all don't know, I'm a freaking huge Dragon Ball fanboy. I love Dragon Ball. I've been watching Dragon Ball since 1989, and it's 2018. So yeah, I'm pretty old. Especially Dragon Ball Super just ended, which hurts my heart. Although, we got the movie coming in December, and they're still going to continue the series. They're just taking a quick break, and this last arc was pretty awesome. Frieza and Goku kicking Jiren's ass. Man, they ended it on a high note. Dragon Ball Fighter Z again, collector's edition with the statue, sticking with the same grade. That's how that's how much of a fanboy I am. I bought the regular edition, I bought the collector's edition, and I also have the Fighter Z edition. I bought multiple Dragon Ball copies. Why? I don't know. Like I said, I'm a Dragon Ball fanboy. If any of y'all don't like Dragon Ball, then unfollow me, unsubscribe. You're not my friend anymore. Forza Motorsport 5, I give this game a 8. Forza Horizon 3, giving it a 9. NBA 2K14, giving it a 7. Mighty number 9. Mighty number 9. Um, You really disappointed me, Mighty number 9. I was really looking forward to you, but I couldn't even get past through the first level. And I kind of just turned you off. I almost threw you away and broke you, so I'm sorry, I'm giving this game a 1. Lego Marvel Super Heroes, giving it an 8. Just Cause 3, giving it an 8. Sea of Thieves, giving this game a solid 10. I played this at E3 last year. Dude, like I said, Assassin's Creed, Black Flag, Pirates, Sea of Thieves, Pirates. Who doesn't love Pirates? Pirates are the shit. Far Cry 5 Gold Edition. Although, I've been through the first and second level already and barely started playing it. I'm really enjoying this game. And I did play it at E3 and so far it's fun. It's pretty cool and awesome. I just like the way Far Cry, how realistic this game is. And all this cool stuff you have and you can do open world as well. So, you know what? For now, I'm just going to give it a 10. Last but not least, I'm going to go ahead and give Fortnite a 10. Fortnite is doing an unbelievable amazing outstanding job keeping up to date patches fixes new weapons skins camos whatever you want to whatever you want to say i know you have your pubg haters and i know you have your fortnite haters i don't hate pubg and especially i don't hate fortnite i do love pubg i love pubg because it's realistic i love fortnite because it's arcadey so uh i'm gonna give this a 10 this game is fun i've been playing the crap out of it and uh, who doesn't love Fortnite? So that is it for the collection. In total, I have 107 games. 107 games, physical copies. I'm not including digital. So if you times 107 times your $59.99, that's a lot of dough. That's a lot of money. That's literally over like $7,000 in games alone. So you see where some of my budget goes to is in games. If I had to guess the price on how much I've spent on all platforms and games, it's, it literally tops over $100,000 in games. Now, I'm not kidding, because I still have Nintendo, Super Nintendo, Sega, Dreamcast, PS1, PS2, PS3, PS4, Switch, Wii, Wii U, GameCube 64, Xbox, Xbox 360, Xbox One. I have a tons, tons, tons of games. And like I said, I don't trade my games. Don't trade your games. It's not worth it, because whenever you want to go back and play a game, and you're like, hey, where's my game? You don't have it anymore, because you traded it. Thank you guys and gals for watching. That's pretty much it for the video. Pretty lengthy video, I have to say. And yeah, I've been on a roll uploading videos. Like I said, I'm staying on my grind. I'm going to keep uploading and uploading and uploading as much as I can, even though I have a busy time schedule. Who knows? I might do another upload today, so be sure to check that out. Drop the thumbs up on the video. Comment below and let me know what's your favorite game, how's your game collection looking like, how many games do you have, how many games have you bought, and uh, yeah, hit me up, let me know, P let's play Xbox or something, add me on my Xbox Gamer Tag, which is G-D-E-R-R-T-Y, so make sure you add me, 
And if I'm on, you want to play some Fortnite, Dragon Ball, whatever, I don't care. We can play whatever you want. So make sure, show me some love, and I'm going to show the love back. This is GT, signing out, and I'll see you guys and gals later. Adios.